स्वाध्याय टीवी डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी Welcome again in the series of a lecture topic regarding the cost accounting. In precise, we are discussing from last few sessions that is the operating costing. In the last lecture, if you remember, we were discussing the problem regarding the theatre cost. That means that those who are involving with the profession of theatres and the business which they are running with the theatres or a multiplexes or something like that, how they can determine their cost and how the evolution of affair charges and how the, uh, how the calculation of the cost structures for their business and then they can charge the amount of per ticket per day per show. Here uh, in this session we are discussing something different where the another type of services provider, uh, how they can determine their cost and how the, the parameters can be designed to calculate their cost structures. Here I am taking this time today the hospital business and the hotel business and then we are discussing the part of uh, precisely the how the hotel and hospital business can actually identify their cost structures. Today in this sessions we are discussing the part of an hotel business how they can dis design their cost structures and the parameters on the basis of the cost calculations and the different different task uh, where the cost has been actually uh, calculated maybe the fixed cost maybe the variable cost maybe the fixed type of uh, cost for uh, the accommodations and food charges or something like that, the how the cost can be divided and the design in the proper structure. Uh, we need to uh, actually find out uh, the way to ca uh, calculate the cost of hotel business. So here in this session uh, today, I am actually try to discuss with you that the how the uh, hotel business can actually determine their cost design and cost structure. For that, we will definitely discuss the one problem, one issue. But here, uh, I just wanted to start uh, before uh, the problem. I want to tell you some few things, very important things, how the cost uh, can be calculated uh, for hotel business. Uh, suppose if the hotel business is involving only with the, the meals and the restaurant services, then they can actually have to focus to calculate the, how the meals uh, uh, providing restaurants and how the, how the calculation of the cost for uh, the restaurant services. This is purely uh, precisely considered as a part of a restaurant services. That means that they, they are willing to identify the what amount of cost can be calculated, what type of cost can be incurred in case of a restaurant services. Suppose if they are not involving with the restaurant services, but only providing an accommodation, maybe they, they are not involving with the restaurant services. That means they don't, the, they does not have other restaurants, but they are constantly providing only and focusing only providing a services for accommodation. That means those who are willing to get in some room services or something like that, and the accommodations has been provided by the uh, hotel and how the cost can be calculated for the accommodation services. Uh, that means uh, there are maybe possibility of only a restaurant services or maybe only accommodation services or maybe those who are actually involving with the both the things accommodation as well as the meals or a restaurant services has been provided in the one roof. How the cost can be evaluated, calculated and what are the parameters to be calculation of the cost structures. Naturally, uh, in case of an accommodations, uh, then you need uh, the rooms and uh, the uh, in, uh, furnitures, infrastructures, uh, the room facilities or maybe then the salaries of the room people or something like that. All right. In case of an accommodation, naturally you need uh, some amount of raw material to make uh, some foods, uh, then the electricity services, gas services, uh, uh, then other type of infrastructure and furnitures and other, uh, other things are has been required for making the meals in the kitchen. All right. So these are the things has been required in the particular uh, services and on the basis of that, they will calculated a cost of uh, the hotel service provider. Here, 
we are not going to divide and distribute the cost in a two parts whether it is a fixed variable or a semi variable it precisely it would be divided into a two part but one is the part of an accommodation and the second is a part of a restaurant or maybe a will meals provider so in that way we will get going to calculate the overall cost or a total cost so let's begin with the solution uh, and the problem discuss regarding the hotel service provider and how they can calculate the cost in the part of the segments so here the cost has been actually calculated in the way of we need to discuss the question first the question is like this the one is ho one hotel is actually running a uh, business uh, with the 40 bedrooms uh, it has an accommodation of uh, 70 beds per day uh, so these are the two important things which we have uh, here uh, the thing is very clear uh, how they can actually calculate the part of uh, uh, the calculation of accommodation and in which they have a 40 bedrooms uh, where they have an accommodation capacity it is 70 beds per day. So, this is the first two important informations which we have. Uh, now, uh, we can calculate it after that average occupancy is 60 percent throughout the year that means the occupancy ratio of the company is uh, 60 percent and on the basis of that uh, it would be definitely calculated the 60 percent is an occupancy ratio uh, 40 uh, bedrooms are there and uh, the another important thing is 70 beds per day these three informations would be calculated the total room and total occupancy of uh, the uh, of the particular hotel and uh, now uh, moving to the next part uh, that is very important meals provided as i already mentioned that uh, this whole business has been divided into a two part one is an accommodation part and the second is a meals part accommodation information is already available now uh, will the second part will uh, discuss meals provided to the guest passengers have been costed and the average food cost per person per day is as follows now see here the average food cost is given here in the this calculation and uh, uh, this would be actually calculated like this breakfast is 36 rupees lunch is 134 rupees and dinner is 110 rupees see uh, uh, this three, three three information is given very clearly very precisely the how much amount of cost has been incurred per person uh, for uh, their meals uh, so 36 rupees uh, it is a cost for a breakfast 134 is rupees it's uh, uh, provided for lunch and the dinner is 110 rupees this is a cost per person per day it is clearly mentioned here so uh, this is very important part of uh, the calculation now see here how uh, this would be helpful for the calculation uh, when you are going to calculate the meals per total meal cost now see the next second part of the question direct wages and staff meals uh, per week as under uh, where the kitchen expenses is given 34,300 uh, that kitchen expenses is uh, purely concerned for the meals uh, requirement housekeeping expenses is given 19520 which would be uh, precisely provided for uh, accommodation part general expenses to be apportioned in the ratio of a direct direct wages 17600 rupees now see here i just want to tell you a very important part is uh, the certain expenditures are already bifurcated between the two different services one uh, may be the expenses regarding the accommodation and the second is expenses regarding the meals so first part they uh, were actually offer you the informations uh, precisely the how many uh, how many room days uh, are there and what is their occupancy ratio second part of the information is given what type of meal expenditures are incurred per person per day uh, for that um, uh, maximum three meals are available in a day that is one is breakfast then the lunch and dinner so what would be the cost per person per day per meal uh, is precisely mentioned in the question so we don't have to worry about it we just need to identify the how many uh, rooms per day per uh, person is available on the basis of that we will multiply with the total cost of uh, the breakfast lunch and dinner automatically the food cost will be available with us then the important part is they were actually bifurcated here it is not given separate expenditures of infrastructure building involvement of the meals what raw material of the meals and other things they were precisely given the kitchen expenses are incurred so it means the kitchen expenses uh, covered everything uh, whether it is a uh, raw material cost or a making cost or a food cost or uh, the, the chef or other thing who are going to make it this all these things all the costs are incurred in this particular kitchen expenditures. So, precisely kitchen expenditures would be recorded under the uh, part of uh, meals uh, expenditures and the second part is given the housekeeping expenses the housekeeping expenses would be definitely distributed to the accommodation part. So, these two things are clearly given but the next part is given the direct wages or a direct expenses. 
expenses and direct expenses is not distributed between the two different services. The, how it would be distributed? This would be distributed in the proportion of a certain proportion and the proportion is also given in the question. So, in which proportion these expenditures will be distributed between the two different services. Now, see further part next part of this question here the general expenses to be apportioned in the uh, ratio of a direct wages that is 17,600. Then the next is direct expenses per annum is 4,57,600. This is per annum expenditures are given for housekeeping and 5,20,000 rupees for kitchen. Okay. Then the next is indirect um, expenses amounted to rupees 34,11,200 per annum which should be apportioned on the basis of a floor area. Uh, fine enough. Indirect expenses are actually given in total but how much amount of expenses are actually distributed between the two services it would be distributed on the basis of a certain proportion or a certain basis. The basis is what floor. The floor area is basis to distributed the indirect expenses and we have a floor area for both the different department bedrooms 3600 square meters. This would be calculated for accommodation and kitchen is 1800 square meters. This would be calculated for a meals part. So, in this way these expenditures would be distributed. Then the further part is a net profit of 10 percent each must be made on the on the meals takings and the accommodation takings this should be underlined this is very important part a net profit of 10 percent each must be made on the meals taking meals taking it means a sales price taking it months it consider as a sales price and accommodation takings. So, this is actually uh, very precisely mentioned in the question the 10 percent profit will be charged on sales price. Okay. Now, you are required to calculate what inclusive terms uh, per person should be charged per day. Oh, that means, they ask to find out the what amount of uh, the cost inclusive everything uh, charged from uh, the customer or maybe the per person per day. Uh, show the split between the meals and accommodation charges and here it is clearly mentioned the expenditure has to be distributed between the two important part. So, the second part of the question is very important indirect expenses would be distributed between both the department as per their floor area. Floor area is also clearly mentioned in the question. Then another important part is given the 10 percent profit will be charged on each services or each department on their final takings. Final takings or you can say the uh, taking is considered as a sales price. It means the profit has not been mentioned in the cost price, it is mentioned on the sales price. So, uh, we need to put an equation if you remember in earlier chapter what we did actually and suppose 100 rupees sales price minus 10 rupees uh, profit then the 90 rupees cost price, 90 rupees cost then this much cost then this much sales price what would be the sales price? This is the formula, this is an equation for the calculation of profitability which, which we were actually already calculated earlier chapters also if you remember I just wanted to recall the calculation of the profitability on each services. Now, see uh, come back. Uh, 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 into the question. The question is uh, we already divided into a certain part. The first part of the question is working part. We need to calculate the how many uh, how many days are there, how many rooms days per day is there. So, we need to calculate that first. This is the first working. On the basis of that only we would be identified the total amount of cost calculation. The second important part is the expenditures are mentioned uh, separately. Those expenditures are mentioned separately whether it is a meals expense or uh, other expenditures. We need to precisely record in the respected heads. Then those expenditures are not given separately, but it is given jointly. We need to distribute it between both the departments or both the services on the basis of their proportion and then we need to calculate it, the total cost of each services and then add the profit on each services separately and then the total amount of takings would be added. So, this is the way to solve this particular question. Now, let us start the solution of this question and we will begin with the first part of uh, the working. The working number 1 is the calculation of weekly days. How, um, why I am taking a weekly days see the question. The question it is actually mentioned the certain things which we have available uh, on the basis of the per day per week or maybe the calculation of certain part of the calculation. You see here the impact hotel has uh, 40 bedrooms, uh, it has accommodated 70 beds per day and average occupancy is 60 percent throughout the year. Meals provided to the guest passengers have been costed and an average food cost per person per day is as follows. The breakfast is given and certain other things are given, but the 
important part why we are actually preparing this whole statement per week that is given here see here the direct wages and staff meals per week are as under and that's why we are preparing here it is per week so that is why the first working is calculation of weekly days now see here the 70 beds are there okay the 70 beds multiply by 7 days we are not taking here the 40 bedrooms why we are not taking 40 bedrooms because of the 40 bedrooms is the second part what is the main part is in 40 bedrooms how many beds are there so that's why we are taking directly the number of beds is available so 70 beds are there multiply by 7 beds 7 days because of it uh, we are calculating a cost for 7 days and what is their occupancy ratio it is a 60 percent and that is why it is multiplied by 60 percent occupancy ratio in that way we have a total bad days per week it is 294 this is a main part of your question uh, and main part of your first answer and first solution also why because of on the basis of this 294 only most of the things are going to calculate it we need to calculate it uh, multiplied by 294 we are when we are going to divide certain expenditures also on the basis of a weekly or maybe calculate by 294 uh, weeks only so most of the places this 294 will be used and that's why this 294 it's very important in 294 we calculated is the total how many number of beds are available how many days you are going to calculate it and what is your occupancy ratio so in that way 294 it's a total bed days per week now on the basis of that uh, the second we uh, second calculation is uh, let us uh, finish the first all these three working how the things are actually calculated the second working is distribution of general expense see the question the general expenditures number three here this the number three is actually given jointly so general expenditures are actually given jointly how it can be distributed general expenses to be apportioned in the ratio of direct wages and that is 17,600 it is distributed uh, actually on the basis of a certain part so direct expenses per annum is 457600 and housekeeping is 520000 now see the working uh, distribution of journal expenses first we need to find out the proportion and the proportion of this expenditures is kitchen expenses and housekeeping expenses on the basis of the kitchen expenses and housekeeping expenses uh, we need to calculate it uh, uh, 34,300 rupees and 19,520 rupees so on the basis of this we find out the proportion and the proportion is 3430 and 1952 and that proportion is 5382 in that way the, the how much general expenses are there the general expenses is actually calculated is uh, 17,600 rupees. Now, see here the 17,600 rupees has been distributed in this proportion 3,430 that the total proportion is 5,382. So, now here in this way uh, it has been distributed between both the departments and uh, according to this calculations we need to find out the how much amount of general expenses has been distributed between both the department is the kitchen expenses will actually bear 11,270 rupees and uh, hotel keeping expenses has been actually bear the 6,383 rupees this would be recorded separately under that particular heads now moving to the next part uh, uh, the another expenditures is given jointly and that is also need to distribute it between both the department that is uh, uh, the amount of expenditures is uh, it is considered as an indirect expense distribution of an indirect expenses and it would be distributed between both the department is uh, on the proportion of uh, the certain part uh, now here indirect expenses is amounted to 34 lakh 11200 per annum which should be apportioned on the basis of their floor area all right so now see 34 lakh 11200 rupees it's in total amount of expenses so we need to first divide it the what amount of expenditures per week and that's why how it would be distributed so see here the first is uh, we need to find out the per week expenses and that is 34 lakh 11200 divided by 52 weeks why we divided by 52 weeks because of we calculated the whole calculation this cost has been designed only for uh, one per week seven days and that's why uh, we we calculated the amount of per week expenditures uh, so far as indirect expenses is concerned that is 65,600 rupees now this 65,600 rupees as per the weekly expenditures which would be distributed between both the departments on the proportion of their calculation the calculation of proportion is their floor area what is the proportion of their floor area it is also given in the question see here 
the certain expenditures were actually given for annum basis, certain expenditures are given on a daily basis, but when we are preparing a cost statement or a operating cost statement, we need to identify whether we are preparing a statement on a per annum basis, weekly basis, monthly basis or on a which certain basis. Here we are preparing a statement on a weekly basis that is why the most of the expenditures those who are given on per annum basis we need to convert in on a weekly basis and that is why we are doing here the indirect expenses also on a weekly basis. Now see here. So here the uh, 34 lakh 11,200 rupees divided by 52 weeks it comes to yes <coughs> 65,600 rupees it is a uh, weekly expense indirect expenses. Now the proportion of their floor area it is 3600 square meters for bedroom and kitchen is 1800 square meters. So this would be proportion is 36 uh, in, is to 18 the total proportion comes to 54 and in this proportion this expenditures 65600 would be distributed between both the departments. It comes uh, for an accommodation department is 21867 and for a kitchen department would be 43,733. So, in this way the whole uh, expenditures has been uh, distributed. I am sorry to say uh, it is actually wrongly written. Uh, it is uh, considered as a part of uh, the bedroom uh, it is actually 3600 square meters. So, bedroom department uh, should be 43,733 and uh, hotel the uh, it is considered as in a kitchen department it would be uh, 21,867. Now see here uh, in this way uh, we need to distribute the amount of calculation we need to see the uh, part of the question was once again uh, how these things are distributed here yeah it is distributed in the same way bedrooms is 3600 square meters and kitchen is 1800 square meters. Now see uh, the final statement the statement of operating cost sheet. Uh, as uh, it is clearly written 294 total bed days per week. So, see here the 294 uh, total bed days per week is given. Uh, now, see the first as I already mentioned uh, before I start this question uh, solution uh, it would be divided into a two part kitchen expenses uh, and hotel keeping expenses accommodation expenses. So, both this department would be distributed kitchen expenses uh, is considered as a meal expenses and hotel keeping expenditures it would be considered as an accommodation expenses. It starts with the first expenses which is clearly given in the question that is breakfast, lunch and dinner. Uh, breakfast is 36, lunch is 134 rupees and dinner is 110. Now see how it would be uh, calculated. So meal cost per person, the total amount of a meal cost for all the three meals it comes to 280 rupees per day per person. So per day per person it is 280 multiplied by how many total bad days per week that is 294. So 280 multiplied by 294 bad days uh, the total meal cost for per week it comes to 82,320 rupees. So this is the way to calculate it, the amount of meal cost is 82,320 rupees. Now uh, another uh, important part of that the kitchen direct expenses. Now see kitchen direct expenses what would be the distribution of kitchen direct expenses. Uh, we need to calculate the amount of uh, kitchen direct expenses if it is clearly given yes it is 34,300 rupees and housekeeping expenses is 19,520 rupees. Both the expenditures are clearly given so it is directly written kitchen direct expenses is 34,300 under the um, uh, under the uh, part of a kitchen expenses and hotel keeping expenses general expenses which comes to 19,520 rupees it is written under the accommodation uh, head uh, hotel keeping expenses see in the B part uh, uh, and in the B part the first item that is uh, hotel keeping expenses uh, 19,520 rupees. So, the, the both these expenditures are clearly mentioned in the question we do not have to identify uh, uh, or bifurcate uh, or distribution anything else it is clearly given and that is why it is simply written in uh, in the particular statement of operating cost sheet. Now the next part is a general expenses and general expenses is already distributed between both the department. Uh, if you want to see here you just see that is kitchen expenses is actually 11,217 and uh, the hotel keeping expenses is 6,383. So now see here the general expenses under the uh, heading of a kitchen expenses 
uh, that is uh, 11,217 rupees, it would be written under the banner of kitchen expenses. And here uh, in the B group, in the B part, hotel keeping expenses, that is accommodation, 6,383, uh, it is written uh, under the uh, hotel keeping expenses, second item, general expenses. Now, the next item which we calculated distribution of indirect expenses and distribution of indirect expenses for bedroom is 21,867 rupees and hotel keeping it is 43,773 rupees. But that I just uh, wanted to tell you it is something is actually wrongly calculated because of it is um, uh, its name only uh, uh, changed. You see here the bedrooms uh, area is bedroom area is uh, 3600 square meters and kitchen area is 1800 square meters. So, e here we need to calculate it the uh, bedroom area is uh, calculated is 3600 square meters and that is why it is an accommodation part. It is accommodation part it should be written here 36 instead of uh, instead of 18. So, it is wrongly written just we need to uh, ex uh, change it instead of uh, 18 it would be written here the 36 right. Uh, and instead of uh, it is written here 36, it would be 18. So, we need to just calculate it. the amount of expenditures is exchange. 21,867 would be considered instead of bedroom, it is considered as a kitchen expense and 43,733 rupees uh, considered as a bedroom expenses inter instead of kitchen expenses. Now, see here it is rightly written in the statement indirect expense under the statement of a kitchen expenses, uh, indirect expenses is written 21,867 as I already calculated uh, here. 21,867. So, it is written in the statement it is in a right way only just here it is uh, wrongly uh, uh, highlighted. So, just may be correct, uh, corrected when you just try to understand these things. So, uh, indirect expenses under the heading of kitchen expenses it 21,867 and uh, indirect expenses it is calculated uh, under the hotel keeping expenses that is 43,733 rupees. Now, Another important item which is uh, directly given that is direct expenses and direct expenses is actually written here per annum. It is given in the question per annum that is 4,57,600 rupees for housekeeping. Housekeeping it means it is an accommodation and 5,20,000 rupees for kitchen. Now, see here it is per annum and that is why as we calculated every time per annum expenditures has been divided by the number of weeks. Why it is divided by number of weeks? Because of we are preparing a statement of operating cost on a weekly basis. Uh, 52 weeks are there in a per, uh, a per annum basis. So, that is why those expenditures which are given on an a per annum basis would be divided by the number of weeks. Now, see the statement now both these expenditures are calculated on a per week uh, basis and uh, amount of expenditures has been uh, written in the statement here. Other in di other direct expenses that is 5,20,000 rupees as it is given in the question here. Uh, other direct expenses 5,20,000 rupees this is 5,50,000 rupees it is for kitchen expenses and that is why it is written under the uh, heading of A kitchen expenses other indirect ex other direct expenses annual 5,20,000 rupees see here calculation is clearly given 5,20,000 rupees and this 5,20,000 divided by 52 weeks. In that, uh, that way, it calculated 10,000 rupees expenditures and the same way uh, it is calculated for uh, accommodation department also. Uh, the same accommodation department, it is uh, given annual expenditures is 4,57,600 rupees and 4,57,600 uh, divided by 52 in this way amount of 8,800 rupees it is an other direct expenses of accommodation department. In this way the both the departments have a uh, exp uh, bifurcation of the separate expenditures are in all uh, received. We need to make a total. Now, the total cost uh, of A that is uh, kitchen department it is 1,59,704 rupees. This is an expense uh, uh, of uh, kitchen department and in that the same way uh, the calculation of uh, uh, calculation of B department that is hotel keeping expenses or an accommodation department and it is actually calculated 78,436 rupees. Now, we need to apply a profitability, how the profit can be calculated. The statement is clearly given, the profit is actually given 10 percent, but this 10 percent is given on net taking. See the question last paragraph, 
a net profit of 10 percent each must be made on the meals takings and accommodation takings. As I mentioned, uh, meals takings it shows it is on a sales price. So, that means the profit would be charged on a sales price. Now, how this sales price would be affected? It is very simply way we need to calculate it, the amount of uh, assumption that is 100 rupees suppose sales price minus 10 rupees it is your profit, the 90 rupees is cost. Uh, we already find out the cost for each department and we already make a total of each department cost would be compared with this uh, uh, assumption price and we need to identify the profitability of each particular department. Now, see the working number 4 now where we how the calculation of profitability is given. So, here the working number 4 the profitability is uh, the kitchen suppose the SP is 100 rupees minus 10 rupees profit. So, the cost price is 90. Now, we will have to put the equation if a 90 rupees cost price then the 10 rupees profit uh, 1 lakh 59,704 rupees cost price. See here the statement how much cost price is there total cost is 1 lakh 59,704. So, this would be compared with this 90 rupees. So, 90 rupees CP it is 159,704 then the 10 rupees profit how much it is profit the profit is 17,740. 5 rupees. Now, see here the profit would be written here, then the profit add as per the working knot number 4, the profit is going to write is here and this profit would be added into the cost price and then you can find out the final takings of A that is 1,77,449. The same way we will calculate it for the department B also, see the working again, uh, second part of the working same suppose 100 rupees SP. 10 rupees profit, 90 rupees CP. If 90 rupees CP, uh, what would be the cost? It is 78,436. Uh, then how much um, 10 rupees profit? Then how much it is uh, considered as a profit? The profit is 8,750 rupees. So, here as per the working note number 4, uh, 8,715 rupees profit added into the cost we find out the net takings for the department B is 87,151 and finally, we make a total of A and B uh, the both the net takings uh, the it this uh, for total A it is 1,77,449 and for B is this the total it comes 2,38,140 rupees and their profit is 27,6460 rupees, the total income it comes 2,64,600 rupees, this is your total profit. Now, see here if you want to find out their income per bed per day, we need to find out their total say that is 2,64,600 divided by 294. If you are going to do it 264,600 divided by uh, divided by 294, then your answer would be coming 900 rupees. Why? Because of we divided individually. We divided 1,77,449 divided by 294 and 87,151 divided by 294. It would be separately uh, find out the income per day and then make a final total that is 900 rupees. So, uh, if you if you want to find out at final cost, you can directly divided the total amount of income by the 294. You would find out the amount of income per day per bed per particular person would be 900 rupees. So, this is the way to calculate the amount of cost uh, in case of the business involving with the hotel business, where you have a um, accommodation facilities also, restaurant facilities also and precisely the certain amount of expenditures are actually given separately, how it could be uh, distributed, uh, how it can be find out per week expenditures convert into a daily expenditures or maybe yearly expenses has been converted into a weekly expenses, you, that way you can determine. This is the way I just want to share with you how you can calculate it in case of if the hotel business are there, what would be the procedure for the calculation of operating cost statement. That is it, thank you very much. स्वाध्याय यहाँ पर मंतपा स्वाध्याय टीवी 24/7